Hi you guys, happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for jumping on here. Whether you're jumping on live or you are catching the rebroadcast, I really appreciate you taking some time out of your night to join us and look forward to providing you some information that can help you as you learn to share your story, to see how that can impact you and to be an impact to others. Hi Lisa, welcome on. So my name is Tina Salisbury, and I am a little about me. I'm a mom of five. I live in Salt Lake City, Utah with my husband of 16 years and our five beautiful kids. I am a health and fitness coach. I work to help people to live healthy and fit, but also create a healthy lifestyle, a lifestyle that will help them to accomplish their dreams and their goals. I'm a retired executive um, from the corporate world, stay at home, mompreneur, starting my own business, living our dreams and leading a rock star team that is one of the top in our network. So I'm so excited to be here and share with you a little bit about learning about your story. Hi Wendy, nice to see you. Jared, thank you for jumping on. Love you, that's my husband. So um, I, want, I wanted to, to share with you this because um, you know if I know you're like me that sharing your story is a scary thing being vulnerable putting ourselves out there letting people know what our goals are all of those things are such a scary thing and it's easy not to do that to stay comfortable to stay in our bubble but I just felt like I needed to be a voice tonight for you because recognizing some things in my past of how I've shared my story and over the last two years as I've made some major life changes has and, and shared about that and have shared and created this business from home, it has changed my life. It's changed my life and I am so excited to be able to pass this forward and hope to inspire other people to do the things that matter most to them and to you. Hi Hillary, thanks so much for being on here. So I wanted to share, share a story at first as I thought about this. I thought about you know maybe the first time that I really recognized that my story had made an impact to people. And this is when I was working. I worked as um, a sales and marketing executive for a recruiting company. And uh, I was really, I was great at it. I did a really good job. I was um, one of our lead managers for all of our engineering services in our region. And at one, one of our meetings, I was asked to just be on a panel to do some Q&A, to share a little bit about myself and my life, um, and to be there to answer questions for people, right? And I, uh, I guess I just didn't really realize that someone would look up to me <laughs> for some of the things that I did. But um, you, you guys, I was a very successful woman in a pretty male-dominated organization. I was doing it as a mom. I was doing it in a way that was allowing me to have more flexibility in an alternative work schedule, which typically wasn't done in this organization. I love to marathon and do triathlons. Like I just did so many things and I just took it for granted because it was just part of my life and a lot of the experiences and things that I worked hard to build there um, you know, just seemed normal to me now. But it was amazing the feedback that I got from people there, how it impacted them, how they, um, yeah, Wendy worked with me there and, you know, she said, blaze the trail for women. And, and you know, it really did. And it's, um, it's humbling because even now that I've stepped away from that business to, to be more present and stay home, um, three years later, like if people have heard of the company and heard of that, heard of the Salt Lake City office, they still mention my name, they still know me, people are still looking up to that and that's really humbling to really think about making that type of an impact in people's lives. And um, you know, so that was a time that I really had recognized that we have the power to make a difference. Our ordinary is somebody else's extraordinary or our hard things that we've been through are things that somebody else is going through that they can learn and they can be from us. So um, that was one example. And then when I stayed at home, you know, I had this opportunity, this opportunity presented itself that I resisted 
to become a health coach, basically a cheerleader for people to help them, you know, pick a program that they could do from home. So busy moms, a lot of us, you know, just don't have time to get out to the gym and it's just inconvenient. So having something at home to be able to do and work on your fitness, work on your nutrition, have a community and supportive people. It was, um, it was something that was presented to me to do. And I, um, you know, at the time wasn't, was needing to make some adjustments, especially to my nutrition. So in jumping aboard to this, um, I, uh, I decided to take advantage of some discounts that were available, but tied to that was kind of that title of a coach membership, right? So it was a distributor membership, but that's what we had called people that were helping support customers that were helping support other customers were coaches. And, um, you know, I just kind of felt compelled, I guess, to do a little bit more because I carried that title, <laughs> even though I wasn't really acting at that title. But, um, you know, a friend of mine encouraged me to, to share a little bit about what I was going through. And at the time, I can tell you I was um, seven months pregnant and um, I was really fighting to stay on top of my fitness, to have a good pregnancy, to, to, um, to do that. And, and I had never been on Facebook. I had never been on social media. And it scared the crap out of me to post a picture on social media. I just hadn't done it. I, I started using Facebook mostly as a connection outlet because of the people and the, the work that I'd left and I didn't want to leave that behind. But it scared me to even put my face out there, nevertheless to actually share something that I was, uh, about goals that I had of things that I wasn't good at, um, you know, and what kind of value could that provide to people from, you know, a fat mama that's seven months pregnant, right, to try to do these things. But, um, you know, I did, and, and probably the first real post that I remember trying to share part of my story was um, about three weeks after I had my daughter, Kennedy. And uh, at this point, I had decided that I really wanted to move forward and, and work on my nutrition, so I put together a just a, a, a group of people, a group of us, just trying to follow a clean eating plan for a week and see how it went. But, um, you know, my, I, over the, the three or four weeks right after I had Kennedy, I actually was able to slim down pretty significantly because of the lifestyle choices that I was making that were better than in my past pregnancies. And I decided, okay, this is my opportunity to maybe share something. And I'm gonna put it out there. Nobody will probably even look or listen. I probably had like 50 friends at the time. And uh, you know, so it's not gonna matter. Nobody's even gonna watch this anyway. So why not put it out there? So I posted a picture and I still remember it. It was, it was, it was me with my son Ben when I was 40, almost 41 weeks pregnant. And me with the same shirt on, standing in the same place. Um, three or four months pregnant with a pretty flat belly and I just shared what I did during my pregnancy. I had used a book um, that you know gave me different exercises to do during the three trimesters. Um, you know kind of guided a little bit as far as good nutrition choices and I just shared that I did this and that I was able to really lose all my pregnancy weight in this four to six weeks after I had my baby and uh, that I was um, excited to just share this resource, the name of this book, and it was a book by Lindsay Brin, nine months, uh, I think, to a healthy pregnancy and five months to get your, ba your body back, something like that is the title, which was an awesome book, by the way. But, um, you know, I thought nobody will care about this. But I immediately got an outpouring of private messages, of emails, of texts, from probably a handful of people that said thank you for sharing that you know that they a couple of people I found out they were expecting babies or a couple of them had just struggled to lose the baby weight and just knowing that you know I had just had a baby and that I was working to get in better health and better shape that that mattered to them and that just struck a chord in me <laughs> to one to know again humbled that somebody would care about something that I wrote, that it made a difference to somebody else, and it started to foster this seed in me, right? It fostered this seed and this 
belief that maybe I had something that mattered to people. And I started thinking about this coaching thing, this becoming an entrepreneur, this developing my own business with a little bit more turn to my wheel, so to speak. And I wondered, maybe, maybe I should do this. And, and it really wasn't about you know, starting a business making money. It was really about starting a business because I felt like I could impact people. And that was something that I loved and was just feeling that I was missing a little bit by just being a stay-at-home mom, by being home and just being with my baby and my three-year-old all day. I just had kind of missed that opportunity to make a difference, to get up, to um, know that I had done something to make somebody's life better. And so I thought this is maybe something that I could do. I want to share with you because I'm going to share with you how those, these things, how that seed that, that got planted has changed my life over the last two and a half years. And I want to tell you how you can gain those benefits and what benefits you have to gain as well by sharing your story. So the first thing I think is just what I realized is that what I had to say mattered and it could help people, right? We, um, you know, it can, it can be really healing to you uh, to think of yourself to, in a positive light to um, kind of have more self-worth to know that you have something some type of wisdom that somebody else doesn't have to pass on to them and that matters and would be important to them. And it gives you a chance to help people. And we all want to make a difference. We all want to make an impact. And when we do make an impact, when we feel like we're making an impact, we're happier. We're more fulfilled. We have more of a desire to do things that are going to help us to be better. We have ability to move forward. Our words are so powerful and sharing your story gives you an opportunity to shine a light on someone else that needs, needs it. And it gives you an opportunity to look at your experiences and know that you are the expert of your life, right? You don't have to know anything that somebody else um, knows. You don't have to be an expert in what everyone else is, but you're an expert in your life. And not only in your life, but how you do your life, right? So there's other stay-at-home moms. There's other moms who love fitness. There's other successful women who have been business people who are now being entrepreneurs and working from home. So what makes me unique? It's me. It's my experiences. It's my story. And sharing that empowers me and helps me to help other people. You know, it helps you to gain courage. Being, um, you know, this practice, it helps you to practice courage to share your story because it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to be vulnerable. It's uncomfortable to share things that we haven't been successful at or um, weaknesses that we have. But honestly, being vulnerable is very gratifying. It's almost like releasing that, you know, like if you've had a secret of something that you did wrong for so long and uh, you finally come clean, right? You know that feeling? That feeling of just being able to let go, right? To let it go and to, it gives you courage because as you do that, as you're vulnerable, as you share those things that are hard for you or things that you've overcome or how you've done that, um, people will rally around you. And they'll root for you. And when they do, it gives you courage to do more with the, with the things that you want to do, with the goals that you want to, to do. You know, as people root for you, we all love a good comeback story, right? We love to hear what, um, you know, what people can do. And somebody who's willing to fight for something, we always want to root for them. So sharing our story not only helps other people, but it will help us. It'll help you to see that you have something worth fighting for, that you can overcome and do hard things, and that you, um, you've learned from those lessons, right? As you share your story, not only are you able to share what you're going through, but look at the lessons in those stories, right? The most powerful thing to share with people 
isn't just complaining about bad things that have happened to you or you know a woe is me story what we all love to hear and what really means a lot to other people and it means a lot to us too is the ability to share that lesson or to share that triumph that comes through that struggle so if you've gone through a struggle or there's something that you've been through don't just think about sharing what that struggle is but share what was your triumph through that what was the lesson that you learned because other people who are going through that same thing will then be able to they will be able to learn from what you just what you just went through and another great thing i think about sharing your story too is when you're in the midst of a struggle if you're in the midst of a struggle thinking of it in a positive light to think okay when i overcome this i'm going to have something amazing to share with people amazing to share with people because i'm going to turn this struggle into a triumph and you can empower yourself to move forward in the very best ways to do amazing things because um, all of a sudden the, the, the terrible things in your life will become opportunities for you to learn and for you to grow and for you to turn those into positive things. And the last thing I think that sharing your story, how it benefits you, is it keeps you humble. You can see, seeing where you come from gives you perspective on how hard you've worked um, to achieve where you are right now, right? And uh, I think that that's how I felt. I think back to that, to the story I told you about being at that meeting, and um, it really made me proud. And if I hadn't shared that, if I hadn't been willing to be uncomfortable standing in front of hundreds of people and kind of just getting shot random questions <laughs> about me and what I'd accomplished and how I did it, um, I would have never realized how great that was what I've gone through and it wouldn't and I wouldn't have pushed myself like I did after that time to become even better and in doing what I do now I look at that every single day every single day I wake up with the uh, thought of how can I help one more person today or you know my, one of my affirmations is that I want people to come into my life that are ready and willing to receive my help. The people and to recognize, to have the spirit to recognize when I can help someone and when I can serve someone to do that better. How humbling is that to know I feel that way. I feel like I can make a difference because I've shared what I've been through and I, I've seen how it's been able to help people and to, uh, to uplift them. So I hope that you can apply those points. Right, And I hope that it can help you in, um, in achieving your goals, whether those be at work or they be in your relationships or they be in your family, um, your health and fitness, because if you're willing to share your story, it's going to make an impact to other people. It's going to help you to move forward. And I wanted to share with you how sharing my story over the last two years of becoming healthier, of starting my own business, of retiring from a six-figure income in a 13-year career, um, how those types of things and those experiences and sharing my story has helped me to grow over the last two and a half years. I'm a really proud mom. I have so much more time with my family and with my kids, having that gift to be proud of and feeling like I'm accomplishing what I want to accomplish as a mom, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty amazing. It's, I mean, I could close this right now and that be the only gift and uh, it would be great. But it's done more. Thank you guys. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Sharing my story and being vulnerable, posting that first picture of me pregnant, and losing that weight inspired me and helped me to lose 25 pounds, helped me to keep it off, and has helped me to maintain a healthy lifestyle for over two years now. It helped me to have the courage to start my own business and to become a health coach and a lifestyle coach 
and that has led me to now be leading a team in the top 4% of an organization of 450,000 coaches and to um, have helped hundreds of people lose hundreds of pounds of weight, probably thousands of pounds of weight, uh, not me, I don't know. I don't know, who knows? <laughs> but a lot of weight and to become, which is awesome, but the most important benefit of that and what I do for my customers, I think, is to give them confidence, to give them hope, to give them the ability to move forward in their life. And that's happened because I was willing to share my story. It has helped my family to gain financial freedom and, and more financial security for our family to do the things that I, when I left my job, I, uh, we had to, to really define a, a very clear budget because any of the extras and all of the kind of fun things that we were used to just really couldn't be accommodated with what our, what our, what we were going to have. So being able to take on this opportunity to share my story, to help other people has helped us to help my daughters to be able to take gymnastics. It's helped us to finish our basement that I'm sitting in right now. It's helped us to stay out of debt. The only debt we have is our house. It's helped us to, I just paid for a trip to Hawaii for our family of seven with cash solely from the money that my business has brought in for us. It is helping us to save for a vacation home and it has helped us to not have that financial stress that uh, can create hiccups in marriages and in life and just weigh over you like a ton of bricks. It's helped us to be able to do the things that we want to do a little bit more fully and to dream, to dream big. And um, it's helped me to give time to more people. You know, I mentioned staying home with my, with my daughter, how much of a blessing that's been. I spent over three hours volunteering at the school for my kids today, helping in a couple of classrooms, and I have the flexibility now to do that whenever I want. I don't have to pick and choose what events I'm gonna miss at school because I don't have to anymore. I can create the schedule that I want. I spend almost every day time with my grandmother who's 86 years old and uh, get to help her at her house and take her out on fun adventures and uh, I'm able to pick my mom's garden every Wednesday so that she doesn't have to do that and to take some things off of her plate. I'm able to serve and give and, and enjoy those things that are most important to me because of what I've done here because of this opportunity and because of taking advantage of the opportunity to help make people's lives better. And it's incredible to think that that's really slowly happened. All of those things have happened because I have this courage to share one story and that I have the courage to continue to live out loud through my struggles, through my triumphs, and to mentor and to develop other people to live the life that they want to, to live. So I want to, I want to leave you tonight with an offer to, to join a community. Angie, yes, I'm going to get a vacation home in Ohio. I totally will so I can be home so much more. I would love that. But you guys, I want to give you an offer to join our community tonight, to join this team, to be able to have some of these things in your life, the things that I really want to to provide to people are the things that are important to me. It's the things that are important to you. And that really starts with developing confidence in yourself, with self-care and loving yourself, and feeling a part of something bigger than just yourself. No matter what you're doing in your life, and um, you know, I'm not saying that this has to be a full-time job for everyone because it doesn't, but it can bring fulfillment in so many ways in helping you to live better and you know I probably would have never thought that I could uh, have an income from home that I could have a very successful career being where I am right now and I am telling you that you can if your dream is to be home to be more present 
to give more to the people that you care about and to create an environment of less stress and more financial freedom, this is an opportunity that you can do that. And I really encourage you to take advantage of that because we are growing and we are becoming so successful and it's so fun to jump aboard this when this is riding such a high place. You'll learn how to set goals and how to make a positive impact into your life, into your health and fitness, with your nutrition, with your self-care, and how to impact others. You'll learn how to successfully grow a business from home so that you can have this in your life and you'll get all the tools and teaching and mentoring and systems that we worked hard to develop so that it can be very successful and easy for you to jump in here and duplicate this type of success that we're having. You guys, it's, um, it's amazing. It's amazing to be a part of a community like this. It's so much fun to be women helping women and to empower each other and to see all of the different things that we can bring to the table because of the uniqueness that we have, because of the situations we've been ha been that we've had, because of the struggles and things that we do struggle with, and how we can lock arms and support each other. It's priceless. It's priceless to be a part of that. Getting healthier is the best business plan you can ever make for anything that you want in your life because it'll help you to feel better, to be more creative, to be able to give more to other people. It'll help you in so many areas of your life and I'm so blessed that that's an intricate part of what we do and what we get to pass on to other people um, to be able to do the same too. So as a little incentive, if you guys, because some of you are on here and you know, if, you, if this is brand new to you, I don't expect that you might have a decision right now, but maybe you do. Or maybe you've been thinking about this and jumping aboard onto this and you, um, you just need to believe in yourself and just go for it because you don't have anything to lose. Um, there's no long-term commitments to being on our team, but I guarantee once you see this and once you experience some results for yourself and see the impact that you're able to make in others, there will be no stopping you. So join. So for those who join tonight, I have a special package put together to get you started in a lot of those aspects, it'll help you to gain confidence and to share your story. A fitness program that will help you to learn the basics, to give yourself 30 minutes a day to work out, that will help teach you portion control and how to put the right foods on your plate without being cumbersome and having to count calories and do all of those macros and everything like that. It'll just make it easy for you and a self-development toolkit that I've put together of some of my best tools and resources to help you start fostering that belief in yourself and that mindset that will make you unstoppable in your development and in helping other people to grow too. So I'm gonna offer that tonight for people who sign up with our team. I've put a link in this post, so please fill out that application and I'll be able to get back to you to help you with that process and if you're not sure, but you have questions or you want to find out more, please fill that out. You know, it's just a conversation. And if it doesn't work out, there's no pressure for you to do, do something or not do something. It, but I, um, I highly encourage you to find out more information because I'd love to share and answer your questions. I know I had so many questions when I first started. I had so many hesitations or things that I was worried about or didn't know about. And uh, I, I want to help you through that because I know and I've been there and uh, there's so many different levels and ways that you can make this work and I'm excited to welcome you to our team. I'm excited to get started and thank you guys so much for jumping on. Have a great night.